Hello everyone. Today we are going to perform an experiment of uh, refraction through glass slab and for that we require a glass slab, scale, eraser, pencil, protector and few pins. These pins must uh, easily actually uh, penetrate inside the wooden board. So we also have the wooden board on which I have kept the A4 size paper. Now how we are going to start the experiment is we are going to take two pins and then we are going to put the glass slab at the center and two soft board pins must be rigidly fixed like this so that the paper does not move one on each of the opposite sides so you can see that I have fixed it. Now try to minimize the movement of, uh, of the entire apparatus. Now what am I going to do is I am going to make the outline, mark the outline. Okay. So here is the outline of our glass slab. Now with the help of protector, keep the protector exactly in between like this and I need to draw an angle of 60 degree with the normal. So I will be marking a point here and this part of the protector I am going to keep it over here and this line should be coinciding with the line which we have made the outline of the glass slab like this now this would be normal so this point would be the normal and from here this is 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree so I am going to keep the angle of incidence 30 degree now with the scale don't get confused this is not 60 degree we are measuring the angles from here 10, 20, 30. Now I am going to remove this and with the scale this would be my normal and joining these two this is my incident ray right ok. Now what am I going to do is I am going to extend this line forward. like this. Now this angle is the angle of incidence and we know that this is 30 degree. Now what am I going to do is I am going to put back the glass slab like this properly placed. Now I will be needing another four soft board pins and I am going to attach them on this incident ray. Okay, now from this side, I mean to say that from this side, I will see these two soft board pins from here. So by keeping one eye closed, I am going to keep my eye over here and observe this, these two soft board pins from this side. And I will keep another two soft board pins here in such a way that all four appear to be in straight line. So these two soft board pins I am supposed to put it over here and I will have to keep one of my eyes closed and I will have to put these two soft board pins in such a way that all four are in a straight line. So I will do that and by keeping one eye closed this is this is the one and Okay, this is the one. Fine. Now I kept my eye over here and I had fixed another two pins and for me that from this side it was appearing as if all four are in straight line. Let me try to show you this. So you can see that all four pins are appearing in a straight line. Right guys? Okay.
Now, now I need to remove these pins. And with the help of ma this pencil, I'll mark these two points. Now we don't require this glass slab, so I'll put it aside. Be very careful in handling the glass slabs because fragile material. Now, with the help of scale, I'm going to make a straight line in such a way that these two dots are joining my outmarking over here, like this. This would be my refracted ray. This is the point of incidence. Again, a normal. Now this point and this point are supposed to be connected like this, right? Okay, so you can see that this ray of light was coming from was coming from air to the glass, so it bent towards the normal. Now this light ray was going from uh, the glass to the air, so it is bending away from the normal. Now this extended ray, this ray, I need to extend it, and uh, you can see that the extended ray was not up to the mark. So I am extending this once again and you can see that the refracted ray and the extended incident ray are parallel. Now this distance is called the lateral shift. Let me measure the lateral shift. The lateral shift is 1.3 centimeters. So, The value of lateral shift was 1.3 centimeters and now uh, I can also measure the angle of refraction as well. So the angle of refraction would be this angle and very carefully we are supposed to measure this angle. So here is the point where I am going to put this point of my pro protector like this and this line should be matching with uh, my normal so okay now this angle is 20 degree you can see that right so this angle is 20 degree and now i am getting this angle as 20 degree <clears throat> so this is the way we, in which we uh, measure the angle of incidence angle of refraction <clears throat> and the angle of emergence would be same as the angle of incidence. Let's check that again. So this point, I'm going to put this point over here. You can see that it is almost 30 degree. I made a mistake because of the, some kind of errors. It is turning 28, right? So my experimental answer is 28 degree. So it should be two degree more than what I should expect. So this is the experiment about the refraction through glass slab.